So, Heather, of course, this week uh, we heard testimony from Jeff Sessions. We can talk about that in a minute. But, you know, we have the same dynamic that has been going on for for a while now. On one hand, we have this uh, investigation into the president of the United States and those surrounding him. Let's call it Trump, Inc. The investigations range from... Uh, obstruction charges to apparently, and we'll talk more about this, Mueller um, loading up on a lot of uh, criminal financial investigators and prosecutors. We have the question of uh, collusion with reportedly Russian hackers, uh, some of whom uh, actually got into data files, voter files, some of whom were involved in getting those emails, et cetera, et cetera. But meanwhile, we have the Republican Party on the verge, I believe, of passing a uh, repeal and replacement of Obamacare that is going to be devastating to tens of millions of Americans. And I would argue, and this is underreported, it seems to me, is going to be debilitating to millions and millions more because we're not just talking about um, Medicaid being uh, cut and tens of millions of people losing their Medicaid insurance. And we're not just talking about the destruction of the private insurance market. So we're talking maybe another 10 million. But I think employer uh, based coverage is going to be dramatically impacted by what uh, the Republicans are doing. And the way the Republicans are playing it makes it almost impossible for there to be any meaningful news coverage of it. Well, I mean, this is the thing that's <laughs> that's so shocking to me is that this is all it is all taking place in secret and they clearly have every intention of drop uh, we're talking about the senate bill now dropping the bill in you know in the dead of night uh you know hope with mcconnell hoping he's got believing he's got the votes lined up and just doing it and they know that they anything they put in front of donald trump will he'll sign it right i mean he doesn't yep. you know he doesn't care um so this is, you know, this is definitely a, uh, you know, a plan on McConnell's part to to pass this thing in the dead of night, uh, in in total secret, without any details, no public hearings, no input from anybody, because they know that this is going to be devastating and dramatically unpopular. And I'm going to suggest it's not just going to be unpopular with the voters. It's un- going to be unpopular with with the with industry and and the healthcare industry and retirement um, you know advocates and you know like the AARP and people like that, which you know is I mean they're trying to keep it secret from everybody that will be impacted by this and I think it's because they know it's going to be unpopular they just want it to be a fait accompli and I would accept, I would suspect that McConnell and Crowd are ready to let Trump take the blame for it too. And uh, everybody just, you know, claim it was all him and he's the one who sabotaged it if it weren't for him. And it's not true. This is them. Trump doesn't know what he's doing. He has no clue. I mean, no clue. In fact, there was a report uh, this week that Trump met with the Senate leaders, the 13 who are writing this bill and basically came in and said, "Um, uh, this plan seems uh, mean. And as you know, like as if he wasn't aware of what he celebrated in the Rose Garden <laughs> with the yeah. House plan, because this is this is, you know, basically the House plan. You know, you could call it light, but I would say more like the House plan camouflaged. Mm-hmm. And 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 you're absolutely right. I think they're perfectly I think Mitch McConnell at all are perfectly happy to have this called Trump care because People should understand when they get caught up in the idea of like, you know, well, how is it possible they're going to pass this? They're going to suffer electorally. This is the first opportunity in, I think, decades now. In fact, decades. I would say since 1986 that the Republican Party will have an opportunity to to successfully pass permanent tax reform yep and by permanent i mean not sunsetting you know forcing the democrats to actually raise taxes down the road if it's if it's going to be that 
not since Ronald Reagan in 1986, I believe it was, have the Republicans been this close to permanent tax reform. So from their perspective, this all makes sense if you realize it is not about health care to them. It is about getting the baseline down to cut taxes. And this is the only way they can do it because they need to do this through a process called reconciliation, which allows them just a 50 uh, plus one vote to get this legislation through. And to do that, they need to cut. And Obamacare is out there as an easily cuttable because they've been promising to get rid of it for years an easily you know not easy is maybe not the right word because it's been difficult but the most um appropriate opportunity for them in their eyes to cut to get these permanent tax cut relief this is the first time in, in a generation paul ryan was you know like he says i think in junior high school at that time or high school, they're going to come in there and they're going to do this. Mitch McConnell, this is this is their dream. They do not care what happens after they get these tax cuts. I mean, I, I, they'll they'll fight afterwards, but they are willing to go all in on this, and that's what we're seeing. And they're doing it in secret. And and Digby, you know, we just got a, a minute and a half here, and we can talk about this in the next hour again. But the Democrats have only one play here. One play, and that is to gum up the works of the Senate to delay this bill so that once it gets scored by the uh, the Congressional Budget Office and it comes back to the Senate and it has to do that to pass the bird rule so that they can do a reconciliation. The Democrats need time to re-energize people to fight against this because for a long time we were told this is not going to pass. Yep. Not going to pass the House. Then it did, and then it was definitely dead on arrival in the Senate. And people disengaged way too much, way too much. And the Democrats do not look like they're going to do this. And it's their only chance. And frankly, people should be on their phones right now. If they have a Democratic senator, they should call and say, gum up the works. We need more time to fight this. And if you have a Republican senator, say, we know what you're doing and you can't get away with it. We got 30 seconds left. Uh, well, actually, Digby, we got to we got to jump. Let's talk more about this in the next hour. If you'll join me. Absolutely. All right. We'll be right back. Sam Cedar, Ring of Fire Radio. Uh, we'll be back with Digby in the next hour to talk more about what's happening with this health care bill. And, of course, what's happening with Jeff Sessions. 